try to imagine the life at this period. There's no internet, no computer, no, no PlayStation. So the life of Leonardo was just nature. He observed the nature. He tried to understand every aspect of nature and transform everything in something mechanical to understand and make it better. Of course, you know Leonardo da Vinci. But uh, you think you know, because it's unique in this exhibition that when you come here, you understand that you really don't know Leonardo da Vinci. Try to flip some pages of Leonardo. You will find more than 10 subjects in one page. Multiply it for 6,000, and you can imagine so many things that is impossible to concentrate in an exhibition. There were a number of uh, exhibitions currently on the market that treat Leonardo da Vinci and his work. But this one had a particular quality. It allows people to investigate the writings of Leonardo using very interesting interactive computer presentation. I kind of knew a lot going into it, but coming back out, it was like I learned so much more because he did so many things. I think it's interesting how they, they managed to make models, detailed models of everything, so you can really get a good idea of what he meant. Because, you know, you can see the sketches and get an idea, but with these models, you really understand how genius everything was, the complexity of the gear systems and the spring engines he made. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to, like, come here several times to really see uh, what he was all about. It's just crazy how much he did in his lifetime. Um, I thought The Last Supper and the Mona Lisa painting were... were Amazing. Yeah, I was surprised that they could make it look as um, as full because it looked so damaged before. In this exposition, you will discover the real Leonardo, the Leonardo that has more than 6,000 documents. I think that no one has seen them before.